Okay, it looks like that extension has finished installing. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like in action. So we can navigate to any web page. It didn't have to be the Selenium IDE page. We navigate to our extensions. We select Selenium IDE, and we're going to create a new test and a new project. So I'm just going to quickly name this project. Um, we're going to be using Google Chrome or Google Search Engine as our website for testing. And um, I'm going to be using the HTTPS protocol for this. So as you can see, that web page opened. We have an indication that we are recording our actions. So let's try providing a search result, something like interview kickstart. Make sure that our make sure that we're being found in the search engine. And as you can see, we can see our ads. We can see that our our first web page is valid. So let's go ahead and navigate to that. We can see this web page opened as expected. And now we can go ahead and close this to end our test. Um, we're not done creating this test. It's still recording, even though the web page has stopped. So let's go ahead and end the recording. We're going to name our test. And now what we can do is we can run this test back to see those actions played out as they would be by the Selenium uh, IDE. So we run our current test. We see that web page does indeed open and it searches for that web page. Now, what we could do to make this more useful or indeed more of a test is we can actually add new commands in between existing commands that were recorded. So if we wanted to, um, when we get this click to go to the web page, what we could do is add a new command after that, and we could assert um, that we landed on the expected title. We could assert that a given element is present on the page. There's many checks that we could use um, to ensure that we did land on the correct page. And that's everything for the Selenium IDE. We're going to be going into much more detail on the web driver itself. So I hope to see you in those talks. Until next time. Want to become a software engineer at Google? You can, like thousands of our students. You just need to learn from those who've already cleared FANG interviews. At Interview Kickstart, our interview prep courses are developed and taught live by 150 plus instructors from tier one companies like Google and Facebook. Our courses are tailored to help you crack software engineering domain interviews, including backend, full stack, machine learning, embedded systems, data science, and more. To learn more, Book your free webinar slot today 